Coco wil dronk barbecue, my friends. And check it out what Inkbird has sent me this time. It's their Inkbird plus vacuum sealer. And a couple of videos ago, we nearly broke the thermometer. So see if this thing can stand our test. Let's get testing and see if this is a must-have in your kitchen. There we go. Christmas came early, friends. A replacement seal strip. The probably thing is going to break it. A drain hose for the vacuum machine. Power cord, very handy. There we go, some vacuum box. Well, without that you're dead in the water, I guess. Manual. Well, we don't check that. That wouldn't be right. A roll. You can make your own box. That's going to be more handy than those little box, I guess. Because now we can put a whole rack of ribs in here. <laughs> And then, of course, we are all be waiting for the machine. That's a neat little machine. Look at that. Look at that. Well, see if we can make this thing work. Why does everybody wrap stuff up like you never want to use it? Okay. But look at Well, I guess that's it. Ready to go. Just plug her in. Now we need to find something to vacuum pack. Now I happen to have made a bunch of bacon and ribs yesterday, so let's vacuum pack some ribs. Nice handy pre-made bag. Then we're going to stick the rib in there, like so. I know what you're thinking, you think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and now the trick is to keep the bag within the slot here. And then you just close the lid, press on it till you hear the click. Did you hear the click? That's it. It's closed, ready to seal. Now it's going to get technical, my friends. Are we just going to seal it or are we going to apply some vacuum as well? Well, I go for the vacuum too, because I want to have it all. Well, I would say that went pretty easy. Now we're going to check out the seal, because after all, that's what counts. Well, there we go, my friends, there we go, my friends. Let's release it and hope for the best. Ta I'm pretty happy with that. The machine came out of the box. The only thing we had to do is plug the power cord in. I, I mean, if we didn't look at the manual, that would not be good. And within minutes, we were up and running. Perfect. If you need to vacuum seal a lot, I would say get yourself a commercial machine. But if you just need to do the odd thing, uh, or you want to have an extra gadget for your barbecue gear, this thing works perfectly fine. So my friends, check out the Inkbird website and look for the Inkbird Plus vacuum sealer. Can't go wrong. And I also realize, it's probably not in the manual, as it is a nice compact little model vacuum sealer, you can bring it to your friend's house. So if they make something nice, you vacuum sealers, bring it home. I have it for later. <laughs> I might just do that. The neighbors are barbecuing. <laughs> hey there, thanks for watching the video. And now you're sad. Sad that the video is finished. But subscribe to my channel and you will never be sad again. Ever. <laughs>